on your screen can you see a table this is called the front view front view means elevation fancy name elevation look at look at the table from the top there you go there is a block kept and this block of 10 kg kept on a rough table is being subjected to two perpendicular forces 140 newton to the right and 140 newton down can you see that and 0.5 is the coefficient of friction did they mention static or kinetic no that means mu static and mu kinetic both are 0.5 okay find the acceleration of the block what is the first thing you should do the very first thing you should do is actually find out the fs max and for that you need the free body diagram how do i draw the free body diagram here it's a top view do you get this If I had been looking at this block from the front view, I would have said mg down and normal up. This is the front view free body diagram. But if you look at it from the top, mg is going into the table. Do you remember into the table, into the paper, into the plane is a cross and coming out is a dot. Why? Because they follow the arrow notations. A typical arrow when you shoot it and it goes away from you. How does it look like? When an arrow goes away from you, how does it look like? It looks like a cross, the last part of the arrow. And when something is coming towards you, what does it look like? The pointy side of the arrow, right? The dot. That's why mg is into the table. Normal is coming up towards you to the table. From the table, sorry. So, n is equal to mg. Because nothing is happening perpendicular to the table. So, if n is equal to mg, mass is 10 kg and g is 10. So, 10 times 10, 100 Newton. Any question whatsoever? No. Fs max is equal to mu s n. There is only one mu here and that is 0.5. Can I write 0.5 as half? Good. And what is, what is the normal reaction? 100. So, my friends, Fs max is equal to how much? 50 Newton. Any questions whatsoever up till now in what we have done? No. So, you all agree Fs max is 50 Newton. Sir, why did we find that out? What is the net force acting on the block? Net force acting is 40 right, 40 down, that is under root 40 square plus 40 square. Do you agree? And that net force is actually 40 root 2. Root 2 is 1.414, approximately 1.4. And 1.4 times 40 is approximately 56 Newton. My Lord, is the net force acting more than the static friction maximum value? Yes, because 56 is more than 50. So what will happen? It will slide. And if it slides, what is the nature of friction acting? Kinetic. And what is kinetic? It's just a value equal to what? Mu kn. There you go. 10 kg block. 40 Newton, 40 Newton, 40 root 2 Newton is the net force. And what is the Fk value? Fk value is equal to mu kn. Since mu k and mu s both are same, it is equal to 50 Newton. So can you tell me what is the net force? Net force sigma f will be equal to mass times acceleration. Sigma f clearly is 40 root 2 minus 50. If you want, I can actually write it that. F external minus Fk is equal to Ma actually. Who is F external? F external is 40 root 2. Who is Fk? Fk is 50. Mass, what's the mass? 10 and times acceleration. And what is the direction of acceleration? Clearly along the F external. 0, 0 and 0 gets cancelled. As per my calculation, I am getting 4 root 2 minus 5 
as my acceleration and voila for root 2 minus 5 meter per second square is your acceleration why did i take this problem it looks so simple i agree but i wanted to show that the, the friction is responding to the net external force that's why 